Hey Tim, Daphne here, how are you? Thanks for getting involved in some more corrections. Wow, please tell me when's your exam? It'd be useful to know what deadline you are aiming for. That would be really helpful. Uh, so this is a map, I love the maps. Um, I think they're great, there's always lots to say. So you're comparing uh, 1930 with 2010. What a big difference, absolutely. So the two maps show the changes uh, that have happened because uh, we're going to talk in a minute about passive tenses that have happened between 1930 and uh, 2010, or you could say over an 80 year period in Stokeford. Okay. Overall, Stokeford um, saw a spectacular transformation from a less developed, you might put in here, rural area into a uh, residential area. It's not still very big, is it? But uh, yes. That's a nice overview. The farmlands which were located now all the way through, you need the passive tense. If you're not totally sure on the passive, revise it because you need it for map questions and process diagrams. So the farmlands which were located in the northeastern capital letter and southern part of Stokeford have been completely destroyed. OK, um, and what's in their place? Do you want to tell me or are you going to tell me? Okay, northeast, yeah, have you been completely destroyed? Yeah, and replaced by a residential unit, by houses. Okay, um, over 100 years, well, it's not 100, careful, it's 80, 42 extra houses have been built. Keep going here, furthermore, four additional footpaths have been added or have been established to the east of the Riverstoke capital, capital, uh, which surround these extra houses. The gardens and large house uh, in the east, yes, there you've got it, have been demolished. Okay, so we've used demolished quite a lot, can't we? Um, have been transformed into a retirement home. Uh, you don't need that over the period, okay? Have been transformed into a large, because it's bigger, isn't it? A large retirement home, okay? Um, you could say there's little houses leading up the path, okay? Um, uh, two shops were set up to the north of the post office. Mm. Yeah. Okay, shops were there, weren't they, huh? Uh, because that was in 1930. Replaced by a retirement home, okay, uh, where, uh, whereas the two shops which used to be located to the north of the post office have, um, have been closed whatever, have been replaced by houses. Primary school to North, the retirement home has been expanded, okay, was expanded throughout the period. As you'd have to have past, uh, past simple passive there, was, because if you say has been, that means it's continuing. So I just put was, because you don't know when it was. So the bridge and the rivers don't remain unchanged. Yes, good. Similarly, the post office, um, Post office, comma, located in the centre of the town, has remained open or has not, uh, yeah, has remained open over the period. Okay, that's really nice. Well done. Um, I think, so I would say main comment, um, you could talk a little bit more about the farmland that's all gone. So the, the it is, it's changed from being, as you say, rural or farming community into a small village. Uh, so, yeah, no changes on the river, but mostly the biggest increase, I would say, is an enormous building program. So a lot more houses there. Um, Tim, have a look at passive tenses. That's what you want here. Um, but nice task. But I think, uh, yeah, you could, if you listen to my correction, I think you could develop it a little bit more. Okay. So some people think, Haha, I like this question, women should play an equal role as men in the country's military police force, other think women are not suitable. Discuss both views. It's an interesting question, isn't it? And I think you've answered this nicely. The question of inequality, gender discrimination and gender role has grown in importance over the last decades. Yes, very nice importance. Well done. Experts throughout the world have debated whether females are capable of taking on male dominant roles in the name of equality or whether I put in there, they are unfit to fulfil the responsibility of such a role. 
yeah. Um, uh, can we choose another word for role? Maybe you can just say fulfill the responsibility, the this demands, or something like that, and avoid this altogether, because we don't want to repeat that so quickly. In this essay, I'll discuss both views and explain why I'm more in favour of the former statement. Examples from BBC and research. Okay, really nice, Tim. Great start there. There is no doubt that many women are considered as unsuitable for military work in the society. This is largely because, um, why don't you just join this up here and this? Because quite often I stop here and I go, why? And then you tell me, but maybe just link it together. And this is largely because women are often perceived as emotionally and physically unsuitable due to a lack of experience in dealing with conflicts. Yeah, a lack of experience and emotional strengths. Because I think this is one of the biggest things, how women would be affected compared to men. That you can put that. Uh, for example, ah, no, just recent research, not a re recent research, um, by the UK government demonstrated that 60% of females reported that they would not know how to react if a violent incident or emergency situation occurred. Uh, just give me a bit more. Occurred um, on their doorstep is quite a nice little idiomatic expression. Doesn't mean literally in front of them, but it means very close to them. On their doorstep. Therefore, it's conclusively clear that many females might not be able to handle stressful scenarios due to the lack of training and exposure to conflicts. Yeah, okay, nice. Well done. I think that's well argued. Uh, there's a lot of skill in arguing this sensitively and in a politically correct fashion, isn't there? However, it should not be forgotten that although females may not have the same physical advantages as males, they can still be a valuable asset to the military or armed forces, okay, military or other official bodies, you could say, official, yeah, something like that. Uh, there is ample evidence that you can say women, I mean, we don't have to keep on saying females all the way through, yeah, you can say women are generally more patient and stronger, you don't need a stronger team players than men, uh, uh, demonstrating would be nice. Some key, so don't go which are, uh, go demonstrating some key essential qualities uh, crucial to the military force. Yeah, so that would be a kind of more elegant way of doing it maybe. This may be due to the fact that military work requires a high level of discipline and the ability to collaborate and communicate effectively. You don't need to have that, that's kind of repetitive. For instance, a recent article published by the BBC revealed that the military in the UK is mostly made up of males um, who lack, such a relative clause here, who lack skills, okay, let's put the adjectives first, who lack interpersonal communicative and problem solving skills. Thus, even if females do not have the same physique as males, they can contribute immensely to the country due to their unique nature. Yeah, lovely. Of course I like that, really nice. As such, okay, good, comma there, it can be concluded that despite males, men or males accounting for the majority of the military force around the world, the strengths and attributes of females are beginning to play. Why don't you kind of have it like that, present continuous, to play, beginning to play, obviously small. Um, so beginning to and then going to play a significant role in these fields. It's predicted that the number of females in the military will continue to grow uh, worldwide, you could put for emphasis, in the next decades. Very nicely done. Good essay, very slick, very smooth. Um, you're really writing very well now. Just, and I like your arguments, just um, a little bit of attention to making it more elegant, maybe. Uh, so this is the kind of the language skill, participle clauses, that kind of thing um, here, like demonstrating rather than who demonstrate. So sort of little tricks like that, which can um, elevate your grammar work a lot. Um, otherwise, really nicely done. Make sure you develop every sentence as fully as you can. Thanks, Tim. Great stuff.